ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the New York Giants Rebuild. If you remember last episode, we did the draft where we found a good plethora of players. And right now we're just going to go through, show you some of them. First one is Mike Williams. You got him in the third, second or third round. I don't specifically remember which one. But he is a beast. And he's going to be the backup to Saquon. Joining Guis and Lewis in the backfield. Did not pick a wide receiver. The left tackle spot, Andrew Thomas, has grown and developed. We did take a new center in Stephen Taylor, who is, I believe, I believe he is, he's hidden. We also took Quincy Lawson, good solid right end. We are going to have to sign some free agency tackles because we only have one. Then we drafted Isaiah Preston to be our backup outside linebacker and hopefully develop at some point. Uh, we did not take him to the linebacker, but we did take. We were able to get Dalton McC McLean in the later rounds, and we obviously wanted to take a player, but it got taken away. And we made a draft day trade. We traded away our seventh rounder of last season for the Jets' sixth rounder this season. So we have a first, a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth, two sixths, and a seventh. But that we are going to be making multiple, multiple moves. Because we do have some players that I would, do a look, would, look to, would, ugh, would like to sell. Basically, we're going we're gonna to sign some D-tackles. You know, we're not looking for... We're not looking for these big-name players. You know, we're looking for players on a one-year deal that are a little bit younger. That we did not just release, so they won't be mad at us. And yeah, we'll shine Sheldon Day. All right, so I think that's gonna I think that's all of our free agency signings. We do have to make some changes to the team in the depth chart. Not necessarily with, actually, yeah, we'll just go through and do a full depth chart overload, and make sure everything's looking good for this upcoming season. Uh, wide receivers, Shepard, Pate, yep. Tight ends looking good. Left tackle Andrew Thomas is a starter. Left guard Hernandez is a starter. Center Taylor is our starter. Right guard Zietler. Right tackle is a s right tackle is Solder. Just because Thomas pushed him out there. Left end's good. Right end's good. D tackle is now all sorted out. Wait, that hill guy was our backup left end, right? Yeah. So he's going to be our number two D tackle. Again, just looking to bolster that defense. Outside linebackers are good. Middle linebackers where we need a little bit of work. Obviously, Mayo is not exactly the best second middle linebacker, but you know we're not in any rush. You know we got time. Corners are looking pretty solid. Safeties literally pick themselves, but very good all around. Graham Gano is a kicker. Riley Dixon's the punter. Returning our kicks is going to be Pettis. He is a very good, very very good returner. He. It was actually a pro bowler. Last season, Zietler's going to be our long snapper. Saquon's our receiving back. Power back is going to Mike Williams. I'm sorry, Saquon, but he's, he's just too good. So in the slot, yeah, we're going to keep Golden Tate. A rush ends we're not going to worry about. Alright, so that's going to conclude that. But now, all those players on the team that we did not want... We're going to look to trade away. So obviously QB is good. I think it was center. We'll see if we can get a trade offer for Gates. I don't know if we will. But if one pops up, we will definitely take it. I think that's really all we're going to do. For the team as of now. Things are always subject to change. Start your week by 
All right, so we, actually, we won our first game, which is pretty promising. But, I mean, you literally never know with preseason because it could just be that, I mean, really, backup QBs is really what loses or wins the game for you. And it could just be the fact that, oh, we have Dwayne Haskins as a backup quarterback. And he's he's pretty good, considering he was a starter at one point this last season. So, obviously that changes things a little bit. But I also feel like our team's more solid all around. Like I feel like last season the team was really lacking really lacking any depth to the team your week by installing your game plan unfortunate loss but I mean the Rams are a very good team and Aaron Donald probably just tore us up that first quarter and the Rams have a very deep team oh uh, yeah I totally forgot about the fact Steven Sims. I think, yeah. I want to see where he is on the depth chart. We signed a free agent last year. He was on the practice squad for the entire season. I think now he's our third receiver. No, he's not. He's our fifth. But he is going to still be on the team. But at least that's good, though. I mean, we do have a pretty deep... We have a really deep team. We don't have many stars. It's very... Solid team all around, which is usually how I like my teams to be. So we won against the Bengals, but now we have to cut some players. I kind of already have players in mind. Oh yeah, so obviously we're keeping our three, really our three star receivers, Pettis, Sims. We'll cut core. And we will add Mac to the practice squad. Then I think it was... We want to just get rid of some middle linebackers. Uh, yeah, we will cut TJ Brunson. Man, I think there's a corner we need to cut. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Actually, we'll just move him to the practice squad. Speaking of practice squad, let's look at the practice squad. Because we do have some players that we could add to the practice squad. Oh, I did not see that. We will worry about that in a moment. So yeah, we only have two players in the practice squad right now. So we'll go in the free agents. We'll just look at some practice squad eligible players. Practice squad eligible. He's practice squad? He's going. We're signing him to the team team. You kidding? And Jones will sign to the practice squad. Boykin will sign to the practice squad. Gay will sign to the practice squad. Cause I know, I know the fa I know that Graham Gano is worse than him. But I want Graham Gano to finish out the season. And I don't think he's. I, don't, I think we'll just get rid of Gano this upcoming season, and I don't think anyone's really going to take Gay off of our hands. Andrew Miles. I think we actually looked at him, looked at drafting him. But we will keep him as a member of the practice squad. I think, we're, I think we should be out of players to sign to the practice squad. I know we can sign one more, but I think we're going to put one of our corners onto the practice squad. Why do, they want, I want, why do they not want me to keep three QBs? I mean, look. One, two, three. Didn't I just... Oh, I did. I, did, I just signed him. Alright, so we really just need to get rid of a player. Not getting rid of our safeties. Oh, wait. Graham Gino's still an 80. I don't know why I thought he was much, much lower. Oh yeah, left outside linebacker. We don't need to be carrying him. Yeah, we already got our two starters. You, you can go to the practice squad. So I think that's going to wrap up 
player moves for now. But yeah, we gotta see that Saquon injury though. Uh, how long is it for? Six weeks. Okay. I mean, it's really. He'll, he'll be whacked back week six. Um, I think we're split. I think we play. We play the Saints, Bucks, Chiefs. First three weeks, I believe. So. Yeah. I don't think these are winnable games, so I don't think it'll really matter. All right, so they signed a couple of players from our practice squad. Whatever. So that's going to conclude this episode as we've pretty much wrapped up the preseason. If you want to see how the start of the regular season goes, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And it is Jay Beebs signing off.